Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Mission Impact Series with Tracy and Ty. My name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of TVA Consulting Group, where I help social impact businesses to design, build, and fund their social ventures so that they can live the lifestyle that they desire, because we all want to live good, and <laughs> while impacting their communities. All right. And I'm Ty Boone. I'm owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. I work mostly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. It's not as nearly as sexy as what Tracy does, right? She, like, she, she helps you to live your best life, right? Your best life. Your best life. Because it is short out here, right? We don't know <laughs> when the, our number is going to come up. So we want to live our best lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So today, guys, we're talking about um, planning for your year ahead. So we talked about Giving Tuesday, how to, you know, make the best out of that and what to you, how to utilize it if you haven't been, you know, engaging your audience before. We talked about um, year end fundraising strategies and, you know, what people are looking for from you at that time and what you should be doing and not doing at that time of the year. And then we talked about wrapping up your year, you know, looking at your quarters with um, unbiased eyes to see what went well and what did not, making sure you bring in professionals to help you because sometimes we cannot see what is right in front of us, right? Because think about relationships. Everybody's telling you that man ain't good for you, but you still there because you see something that everybody didn't see, right? <laughs> and then when it turns out that you got good hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and then now we're going to take all of that and put it together in planning for your next year because you should not be waiting until the new fiscal year to plan for it. You should be planning at least. As a matter of fact, your planning should be finished. Mm -hmm. um, this is November. You should have started planning in Q3 mm -hmm. for the next year. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about some strategies for planning for the year ahead. Mm -hmm. All right. And you want to look, I mean, going into the, to the next year, <clears throat> you want to look at every aspect of your business or your organization, you know, from the from the tops to the bottom. So you're talking about, you know, leadership is one, right? That might be you. Um what did you do or what could you do better and work on those things. So everybody needs to assess leadership. Even if you you have your own for-profit business by yourself, have I been doing what I'm supposed to be doing in my business? <laughs> have I been look Am I still writing this book? I just look, I looked at my email yesterday. The same conversation about my book was January 2022. We're mm -hmm. January 2023 already. I'm probably on the same chapter. That I oh, no. <laughs> Maybe I got two more chapters, but mm -hmm. that's me. You know, that's leadership, right? right? That's not doing what they're supposed to do. But there, you know, you have your you know, programs and services. If you're in you know, a business, are these working? Mm -hmm. What are the ones do I need to keep? Mm -hmm. What are the ones I need to, you know, to change? What are the ones I, do I need to eliminate altogether? Right? Is there anywhere that I need to devote more of my time, more of my energy, more of my effort as it relates to that? Um, what do my, what does my team and my staff look like? You know, these things that you just kind of go one by one, right? What does my team and my staff look like? Is everybody doing their job? Are they not doing it because they don't know what to do? That goes back to me. That goes back to the leadership part, right? right. Um, are they not doing it because I, I've not provided them with the resources necessary to get it done? Do they need to have training? Do they need to have education? You mentioned training and development, you know, a, a, a couple of uh, sessions ago. But is that something that we need to look into for the new year? What should that look like? What kind of systems do I have in place now? Are they working? You know, what what kind of processes and procedures are we following? Are, are there any type of even, you know, down to automations? Are, are we doing anything that's going to make our time and our work better? You know, or is there anything I need to eliminate financially? And that's, and that's, you know, the other thing, you know, we're talking about funding, but can I save somewhere? Can I cut somewhere, something? Am I paying a whole lot of money for systems that I ain't using? You know, or things that I'm not, what, how are we going to get into this next year with, with enough to get us through at least the first quarter of the year, right? So we can mm -hmm. know that first quarter is taken care of before we leave quarter four of 2022. Right. Yeah. Um, definitely just taking a look at all of the systems and processes that you have within your business. Um, looking at your software, you know, <laughs> every time I look at my bill, 
at the end of the month or at, I'm not, I'm not even going to say dang, don't you? every quarter because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, trying dang. at the end of the month, but it ends up being every quarter. <clears throat> I see some stuff on there that I didn't know I was paying for. Yeah. Okay. So looking at all of that, like what have we utilized as far as software for the year? Were we paying for things that we were using once in a while or not at all, right? So do we need them? Are they an integral part of our system, right? Mm -hmm. What does our accounting system look like? Are we trying to do it ourselves or are we outsourcing it to someone else? And is that person effective, right? So are they giving us quarterly sit downs where they're talking about, you know, here's where you're making the bulk of your money. This is where you need to increase. Here's how you can... Um, well, for for profits, here's how you can get a tax break by doing X, Y, Z. You know, looking at all of those systems when it comes to your accounting, looking at your financial systems, your revenue generating systems. Where, like I said, but for yourself now, not with your accountant. Where the money? Where's the money coming in from? Um, so, where's it going? Promote, yeah, where's <laughs> it going? We were promoting this all the time. Nobody bought. So are we going to continue to promote it? Are we putting money and time and energy behind it? Or are we going to take it off the, the table? Why? You still, even if you're going to take it off, you still need to figure out why people didn't connect to that particular product. Mm -hmm. What it is about that product or service or whatever it is that people just weren't jiving with. Mm -hmm. It could be the way you were marketing it. And like Ty and I was talking about one of my products before we got on here. And I was like, I just think it's too heavy. She was like, yeah, I think it's too heavy. Let's, you know, let me think about breaking it up in certain ways. So it's more digestible to the audience. Mm -hmm. Right. So looking at things like that. And that it was a, you said you, that it's more adjustable to the audience. Not that it's a bad product. Right. Mm -hmm. But being mm -hmm. able to go back and evaluate and say, OK, this is my this is my market. Like this is what they we sometimes when we're coming from a the business owner spot we're always talking about what you need like like this is what you because we just feel like we know everything, everything. <laughs> we, so what we live in our heads people. that's what i call like, it. living inside your head yeah. right and you are your own ideal client so you're thinking about how you yeah, would want like, it yeah. but you're not everybody else that you're serving so right. yeah right and you got to think about the you know how people adapt to mm -hmm. what you are, what you have out there. So being able to cut it up into pieces makes it a, a, a much, you know, more attractive offer, you know, for, you know, your, your product that you're talking about. Um, and so going into the next year, taking that into consideration where, yeah, it's still a good product, but maybe the delivery of it should be, should be different. different. And, right. and taking some time to even think about that. I think that that's not what, that's what we're not doing. We just run with it. And then we go, oh, yeah. this is not working. And then here we go two years later and we're not eating <laughs> because it's like, OK, well, that didn't say, but that's an awesome product. Right. And yeah. then there's somebody else who actually tore it up. It took your stuff and, oh. and, tore it up and, tore it up and selling it. Right. And like, yeah. they're doing really good. And I just I should have just broke it up into pieces and, and, and really considered my market. Right. Yeah. So um, taking a look at all of those things and even evaluating your clientele to see, you know, what they liked, what they didn't like. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to take all that information. You just don't do it. Right. So all of the stuff I'm you telling just you, do it, right? <laughs> yeah, you just don't do it. You actually have to sit with it now mm -hmm. and do an analysis of it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you utilize the information mm -hmm. that you gathered from all collecting all that data Mm -hmm. And then you utilize it to create a plan for mm -hmm. next year. And so knowing when to shift, I think, you know, you and I, we 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 have like these shifting moments, like a you know, quite frequently, um, even mm -hmm. um, not really changing up the brand, even some some minor shifts in our audiences and who we're wanting to appeal to and who we're trying to attract. But knowing when it's time to do that, based on where yeah. you're growing, because you're not always going to be the same yeah. in business. Like no. you're gonna grow. You may have an. You know, this may be the audience that I served in 2016, mm -hmm. where it evolved into a whole different set of people who think differently, who move differently, who walk differently in 2023. Mm -hmm. So if I'm still trying to, if I'm evolving to that audience, and I'm still trying to stick it over here to that audience, there may be a disconnect, you know, in what I'm trying to provide for them because mentally I'm thinking about those people over there. So knowing how to the, how to compartmentalize that and saying, hey, well, this is what I can offer to them if I still want to just kind of 
say hey to them. This is what I can give to them. But this is what I need to focus on for you know, my financial security for this other audience, because mentally this is where I'm going. So this is where I'm going to grow. And this is where my mojo is going to happen. Right. And, and that brings it back to um, when you do all this planning, you, this um, data collection, you do all the analyzing of the data and we're telling you to utilize it. It's not a conversation. It is a conversation with some written tactics attached mm -hmm. to it, mm -hmm. right? And who's going to carry out those specific um, actions? How long is it going to take them to carry out those actions and what the, deliver the deliverables should be? Um, a lot of times when we say all of this, I find that people go back and they collect, some of them may actually collect some of the data, and then they sit down and have a conversation about it. And then that's it. Mm -hmm. This is, or they say, hey, this is what we're going to no, do next year. Right. That can work. Let's do this. But mm -hmm. nothing else goes behind it. I say a lot of stuff. Every year I have a slew of things that I want to do. If it was not on my strategic plan, chances are it ain't getting done. It ain't gonna get done right? <laughs> Something exceptional has to happen during that year that frees up. Like, you know, one of my goals just take off and it's not consuming a lot of my time anymore. And it frees up a bulk of time. And then I'm like, oh, I could revisit. Oh, I didn't put that on my strategic plan, but now I have time to do it. So here we go. Let's get this done. But that's the only way things that don't make it to the actual strategy plan, the strategic plan that has all of the components, that is the only, only way it will ever get done. Mm -hmm. Yep, we got to start implementing. So we, yeah. you know, we can plan all day, but you, you got to put some fire behind it mm -hmm. if it's going to work. Yeah. And the excuse of I don't have time doesn't work either, right? You have to make time. We mm -hmm. make time to sleep, bathe, talk on the phone, all the things. You, you need to have a time schedule for doing things. Like I told people when I wanted to do a lot of networking and building in my community, I had to figure out how I was going to do time because I couldn't be out of the house from like eight, nine in the morning till sometime four in the afternoon, right? And still run my business. So a lot of my business does not, did not um constitute actually talking to my clients like this, you know, like virtually, I could talk to them on the phone. A lot of it could have been done via email. So mm -hmm. I would get up at four o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning and do my work from like four to eight o'clock. And then mm -hmm. when I came in in the evening, I would do another hour, two hours of work. And that got me through. So I was able to do all the different things that I, I needed to do. And when I did need to take calls, my fault, my car became my office. Mm -hmm. Right, so I, I would literally minutes, schedule right? some of my calls during my yep. commute. Yep, <laughs> you know, I do time management. I'm sitting at basketball practice, right? I'm like, okay, yeah, I can do that one then, right? Because it, it, and you just have to figure it out, you know. Yeah. It, it, I remember going to a conference. I guess it was before COVID, so 2018, 2019, mm -hmm. um, where the, the 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 speaker was talking about uh, rhythm. Because people always try to get you to, to get into this balance of life. Right. And I'm like, I can't find no balance because, you know, it's wild over here. In <laughs> country, right. It's really wild. And she started talking about, you know, well, it doesn't have to be a balance. There has to be a rhythm where everything kind of sounds crazy. But when you put it together, it, it, makes, sense. And it, it makes perfect yeah. music. And I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. OK. So I yeah. just have to figure out where that rhythm is so I could, you know, and, and that's what you were talking about, what you're doing. So, you, okay, I get up at four and I do this thing because I mm -hmm. know that the rest of my day going to be crazy and I ain't going to be able to do this. Whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to do it then. Or yeah. I'm going to be in traffic. I got it. It's an hour drive into the city anyway. So I may as well, you know, do my Exactly. Thing. I might as well utilize the time. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. I, I planned all of my calls around being in my car. So, you know, people started saying, oh, you're in your office. Like they knew yeah, after a while, they started knowing that, you know, hey, I'm, I, I'm on the road. That's the only yeah. time you can talk to me is if I'm in mm -hmm. my car. Otherwise, I can't have a conversation with you. <laughs> yeah, my, my eight year old, he's so funny. The other day, he asked me to pick him up from school early, right? And mm -hmm. I said, no, I can't pick you up from school early. I have to work. He said, you have a laptop. You can you can do it because that's because he's seen it before, right? Right, right. <laughs> you have a laptop. You can just come to the school and wait in your car. Uh -huh. That's kind of 
he's seen it happen just like mm -hmm. that before. So it's not it's not foreign to him. That's how you've made it work before. You don't, yeah. you still won't come pick me up early because you don't want to. Mm -hmm. That was an excuse. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And sometimes even if I forget that, you know, I was supposed to have a Zoom call with somebody, I would get on the Zoom and I just don't turn on my, my camera. Yeah. But we still don't have the Zoom call because I got to go do what I need to do. I can't mm -hmm. be held hostage in my house because I have a Zoom right. call. Right. Yeah. But yeah, seriously, when planning ahead, really take the time, sit with your staff, sit with your board. If you have an advisory board, sit with them, your volunteers, don't forget them. Sit with your clients and get a full data picture of what is going on in your organization and what people want to see happen in your organization. Mm -hmm. When they feel things can be better, then sit down and utilize that information to create a plan for the following mm -hmm. year. Yep, and start offboarding your clients and your team. You know, if they're leaving, you're finishing up, mm -hmm. give them a little survey, you know, what did you like about us? What would you change? Did you, how was your experience? Just like the AT&T man, you know, do those kind of things so that you don't, have, you know, you don't have to go back and scramble to find folk who you work with this year. There's some mm -hmm. data right there that you can use to help you to get into your next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's it, everybody. That's how you plan for your year ahead. And we won't see you guys back again until January uh, of 2023. So we are wishing you happy Thanksgiving. Um, if the, you see this after Thanksgiving, still happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. What else? Season's greetings. Whatever y'all got going. Yeah, whatever it is that you have going on. Happy and definitely a happy, happy, happy new year. All right. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we will see you in 2023. Bye, everybody. Bye, y'all. <laughs>